Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are going to be unboxing this Ace PC Mini PC. Um, this is a fanless uh, device and this will be used to actually build a budget NAS. Um, this is like a hundred bucks maybe and online, maybe give or take, give or take a few dollars, but Let's get to the unboxing, and I'll probably have a video showing how to build this into a NAS. So here it is. Looks like a thin client device. Has an Intel processor. There it is. HDMI port, a LAN connection. I believe this could do one gigabit. VGA output, HDMI output, it has an OTG in case you want to put a thumb drive or an SD card um, via OTG cable, but it also has two USB uh, ports and it actually even has a micro SD card port. I believe one of these is 3.0 and maybe one is SATA, SATA. so that's one, two, three, four. Nice. The blue one, I believe, is a high speed. Uh, don't quote me on that. So, Ace PC T1 T11, and then okay. Here we have the power supply. This power supply is rated at five volts. It brings its own HDMI cable, which is great. And these are the screws for the mounting plate. So you could mount it, I guess, in the back of a monitor or a TV. And here is the quick start guide. It has a description here. You can connect cameras to it. You can use it as a gaming device. You can you can connect your uh, mobile devices, tablets, to the Wi-Fi router. This is a scanner. So this is pretty much a desktop. This, this is all it is. It's a desktop. And it can be used as such. The project for this is to build it as an as as mentioned before. It has an S it has a SATA. 2.5 hard drive or insert a 2.5 SATA HDD at the bottom to extend capacity which we will be we will be doing and it tells you how to you take these two screws apart and you install install your SATA drive The instructions are very detailed. Plug in the U disk in the USB 3.0 port for high speed data transfer. That's correct. This blue port is a high speed 3.0 USB port. The rest, I guess, is regular 2.0 USB. I'm sorry, USB 2.0. Okay, and uh, there's instructions on how to mount it on the wall. To a monitor, multi display productivity, Windows update, Defender, backup. Pretty much, this is a Windows 10. It has a 3D graphic video card. Um, the chipset is an Intel 4 core, 1.8 gigahertz, 64 bit, and an Intel Z8 3504 core, 1.92 gigahertz, 64 bit. Um, the CPU on this one is actually the Z8350, has 4 gigs of RAM, and the ROM itself, the read-only memory where Windows is pre-installed, is 32 gigs. So that's why you want to update this if you want to use it for, for gaming or anything else. Okay guys, so I've set up the device with a keyboard and mouse, plugged in the HDMI cable, 
and I plugged in some power. So we're going to see what we're greeted to. Of course, I'm going to power it on. Uh, let's see. HDMI 1, there it is. And it's. Loading Windows. Okay, guys, so it took at least five minutes to get on to this screen. We'll give or take a few. We're going to click on next. It seems somewhat a little slow. I'm actually going to be fast forwarding through some of these steps because uh, this just takes too long. I just wanted you to see the unboxing, the setup, more or less what the speed of the device is. I mean, it's, I guess since I'm used to working with laptops and higher end devices, I'm not going to connect to a network right now. So, At least it gives you an idea of what to expect. Just call it admin. Password. Okay. Let's just have some fun. What is your first name? Your first pet's name? Windows. Next. What city? Windows. Windows. And this is just for demonstration purposes. The feel is required. Okay. What is the childhood? My childhood nickname is Windows. Um, I don't like Cortana. Do more no. Microsoft always wants to know your business, you know, snooping in on your activities. We're going to turn all the stuff off because we, in reality, we don't need none of this. There's still some more you can do to turn off all of those uh, snooping settings. Yeah, this is so annoying. It says, almost done. We just need to get a few things polished up for you. And just so you know, this is not on the internet. I am not going to connect to the internet for now. I just wanted to give you a preview of what the unboxing is and what to expect out of the box when you boot this device up and get, a, get an idea of how fast it is, whether it may or may not work for you. I already fast forwarded the initial boot process before it asks you to enter your keyboard layout and your region. So that took about five minutes and then this video is still carrying on. Sorry for the delay, but I like to be very thorough. Sometimes you go on the website and they give you a brief description. The video is not a real in-depth, a real world um, video. I'm the kind of person that I like to see for myself. So... Here's where we are at now. If this takes a little bit longer, I'm just going to pause it and I'll give you what an idea of what how long this takes to boot. So I'm guessing that the ROM on this is very slow memory. 
Because Windows doesn't take this long, even running out of an SSD on the laptop. I know Windows is kind of a little bit of resource intensive, but this is just a little bit ridiculous. Look, there we are. So let's see what version of Windows do we have. Okay, that's pretty. F okay. Go to control panel. Okay, With the OS itself is snazzy. Go to control panel. Hmm. Windows 10 Professional, very nice. Okay. Windows is activated. Okay, so they give you a licensed version. So it's like you're buying a copy of Windows 10 and the device is free. Because uh, I guess a licensed copy of Windows is like, I believe, 100 bucks, maybe. Give or take a few. So it's a win win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a restart and test two things. I'm going to test to see if the escape key brings us into, into the BIOS. I think I read somewhere that the F7 key will also bring into the BIOS. Okay, it's rebooting. The first thing is we're going to time how fast it takes to reboot. Okay, here we go. 22, let's see how many minutes. Okay, a minute or so to, to boot. Okay, that wasn't that bad. A minute, minute 15. To, I could have timed it, but we don't, this is not a, a benchmark test. Okay, so I'm going to restart now and I'm going to go into the BIOS and then I'll close this video. Well, actually, no, I'll show you how to install a hard drive on this device. So let's press escape. I think, let me see, I'm pressing escape. Wow, that was quick. And this is the BIOS. Advanced chipset. It's a very robust BIOS. I wonder if they have BIOS updates, which they should. Uh, cause this is a uh, Amy BIOS, American Megatrends 1.8, the project version, build, this is uh, December 2018, so it's not that old. 4 megs of DDR, 4 gigs actually. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to shut this down. And then I'm going to show you how boot, you can set up to boot from hmm, quiet boot enabled, fast boot disabled, uh, Windows boot manager, UFI, and built in EFI. I guess in the advanced trusted computing. Okay, Android. I wonder, I guess you could load Android on this. Alrighty, so I'm going to shut this down. And I will show you how to install the hard drive. Okay, so for this, we're going to need a 2.5 hard drive. It could be SSD or SATA. I would recommend an SSD. Um, but if you don't have one and you have... So you, 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 you start by removing these two screws on the top here. You take your device and you flip it around. First screw, second screw, you pop up the lid, you know, and there is your SATA connection. That'll be a power, and this is your data. So, we take the hard drive itself, see, you make sure it matches up, it lines up with the, um, do this. put it in here like this, and you push it in. Make sure it's always set down, and you push it in. You push it in, you make sure it doesn't come off. 
you don't want that to happen. You want it to go in and snap in like so. You need to have this gap right here at least. That's maybe a quarter of an inch. Okay. And then you to the little tabs, you put this back on. And you put the two screws back on. Don't over tighten, you may strip them. It's a very fine thread. Okay. Now we're going to plug it and see if the BIOS detects that hard drive. Now, one quick note to boot the device, actually to power it on, you need to hold down the power button for maybe a second or two. You can't just tap it. So this went into Windows. I'm just going to reboot it so we can go into the BIOS and see if that hard drive is detected. I'm going to say restart. It does boot really quick. So here we go. Once the OS is loaded, I'm, I'm not going to do a test, pressing escape, I'm not going to do a test, a load test on this with apps like Office, wow, that's, that's pretty quick. But just remember, keep in mind, when you're going to boot this, you have to push the hard drive, you have to push the uh, power button for a couple of seconds before it will start. If you just press it and depress it, it's not going to start. So what we're looking for is configuration and see if there is an external hard drive in there. Okay, serial number, advanced CPI setting, CPU, chipset, security, boot, set a boot prompt, quiet boot, um, okay goes the option. Windows Boot Manager, UF, UFEI. I don't believe we had the Boot Manager before. That's it right there. Light on LCS 256 LS9 11 216. That is the actual hard drive. And you could boot from that as well. So there you have it. A quick unboxing a preview and to give you an idea how much um, memory so there you have it a quick unboxing and a preview of how long does it take to set up what comes in the box how does it work and so on uh, watch our future videos where I convert this into a NAS a budget NAS for a security system if you like this video like and subscribe. Thank you and stay tuned for more.